What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft for the PlayStation 4 and oh man are we still in some dangerous dangerous trouble um, if you didn't if you didn't see the last episode we decided to go into spooky cave and it hasn't been working out too well for us we've ran into a large number of monsters and a very little number of good things we did find some diamonds though that I did plop on into the chest you can see right here and this chest is basically my safety chest we only found one diamond though which is sort of a bummer but <laughs> it's our safety chest for now just in case we do end up dying or something horrible happens to us hopefully we can make our way back down here it's personally how I enjoy playing but I know that some people don't like that either way um hmm. I just got to keep making sure that all these areas are safe like I do not know what's up here so maybe I should find out um ooh, ooh, I don't know I hear bad noises coming from it so maybe this is a bad idea but it's worth trying to find out like I'm this might be where I came from I'm not sure not looking or sounding like it though Especially since I hear a zombie and he's right in front of me. Ah! Uh, oh, 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 sir, sir, sir. Leave me alone, please. Leave me alone. Okay, this guy's a jerk and he's going down. Okay, then. <laughs> that didn't work out good at all. Oh, man. And I'm rusty, too. It's my first time playing a game today. So it's just like, oh, boy. Uh, I really don't want to die. But we are getting health and food for right now. So it's not the most terrifying situation in the world. It's just not perfect, either. And... Okay, so... Looking pretty open-ended. Just yet another cave to deal with, I suppose. Nothing to my right. Uh, ooh, and this just keeps going down and down. But luckily, they're not on this side. Like, it sounds like they're on, like, the wall next to me. Um, hmm, and then there's more lava and water. <laughs> no monsters following me down, right? Because that would be spooky. So there's plenty of monsters probably somewhere off this way, I'm going to assume. I don't see any, but, uh, hmm. Too spooky for me, guys. Just too spooky. There is gold. Okay. Let me go pick that up, I guess. <laughs> this is so, like, ah! I don't want to die. I can hear them. Oh, man! We found a spawner! No way. No way, indeed. We found a spawner, guys. Okay. This is going to be difficult and dangerous. But we can do this, especially if we like kill these dudes first. And I see a chest in there. Oh man, they're everywhere. They're everywhere, absolutely all over the place. This is gonna be really tough to get accomplished, but if we kill a few of them first, maybe this will be the easy way to do this. Okay, Um. quickly, quickly, we need to go in here and then place this down and then break it. Break it, break it, break it. There we go, we did it! We did it! Okay, and there's two chests in here. Holy cow! Okay, um, I don't know what's over there. I don't think there's anything, but wow. What do we got, what do we got? We got an enchanted book, some cocoa beans, gunpowder, wheat, and then an enchanted book in here. And then in here, we have wheat. Uh, I'm sort of a little disappointed to say the, to say the most. Uh, enchanted, like we get these enchanted books, which I'm still a little bit of a noob about. If you guys have any idea what these enchanted book things do, feel free to let me know. Um, I think they just enchant items, but I'm not really like entirely clear. Either way, uh, I was sort of disappointed because I would really like to find a saddle, but we did find some pretty decently cool stuff. Uh, overall, not the luckiest thing in the world, but overall, I feel like that there's probably some chances to find some in the future anyways. Let's uh, go pick up this gold. Yeah, there we go. Now we've gained six gold. So it was worth coming down here. Um, There was just lava and stuff down there. So I do not think our luck is going to be high. Um, We could try to check out what the hull blue is up here. Um, Yeah, sure. Let's go for that. Uh, doop, 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 doop. And then doop. And then, uh-oh. I might need to <laughs> make some space for my head here. My big old zebra head. Hey, gravel, that's rude. There might not be anything up here, but it's worth checking. Um, yeah, not looking like it. Okay. Uh, then let's go. Head on down. And now we have to fight these baddies that are down here. And hopefully nobody has taken over the area. Uh, not looking like it, which is a good thing, again. Um, we do have to be careful, though, because it's like, if we run into a creeper who blows this chest up, we're going to be in a bad scenario. But let's put the gold in there as well. And then I'm going to put this here. And then this like that. That way, hopefully, this will be easier. Switching between these two. I'm not sure, though. But there we go. We got something. It wasn't the best something, but it was a something. Now let's eat. Now we go back at full health. We haven't lost any health. That was really, strategically, we did a good job there when it comes to dealing with that dungeon. We didn't get hurt, and that's the most important thing. But now 
there's still a ton of enemies around here. Oh, and I'm getting shot at. Oh, I, I really don't think this is a good area to be in. Like, I do not see a benefit to it. Like, uh, like how are we going to deal with this? I'm really not sure. Because it's like, could enemies be up here? Yeah, of course, because we actually haven't been up here. Uh, ouch, rude, rude indeed. But there is lava on this side, so we just cleared this out, and there's coal everywhere, which is really cool. But this dude's chasing me down. Oh man, oh man, we gotta be strategic. Go, 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 go. Yes, okay, he chased us down, but we got the backlash on him. And okay, um, oof, I'm nervous. If you guys haven't told, I'm nervous. So I don't need any of this to be here. So stop hanging out, lava. You ain't cool. Ooh, man, I just sort of like had a little run thing there happen. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> then I thought I was gonna be bounced into the lava. Ooh. Uh, and then what's in here? Ugh, caving. Being in caves is so stressful. Uh, do I see cobblestone on the other side here? Let me see what that is. Cause that might just mean that we've been led into a circle, but that also might just be gravel. But if that is cobble, yeah, we just led in a circle. Okay, um, nerve-wracking, absolutely nerve-wracking. I mean, it's it's sort of nice that we were led into a circle because that means that <laughs> there's one less spot for uh, us to go, I guess. But at the same time, it's like, oh, where are we? What are we doing here? And I just, I feel like this area is too big to handle. Like, this is just a bad idea. So I think that we might wanna just go and find a new cave. To be absolutely honest with you guys, this is too much for me. <laughs> so let's go. Um, I feel like we will go back here and get some of this. Here's some enemies swimming around. Hopefully we don't run into too much. Um, but yeah, it just this is too much. I feel like we're gonna end up dying and losing some precious stuff more so than anything else. So we're gonna leave it be for now. Just truly, <laughs> maybe now that we've gotten one diamond and some other interesting stuff, maybe we... I hear skeletons, those skeletons. But it's like, maybe we should make our way back upstairs and <laughs> deal with stuff up there. All right, so let me get this coal as fast as possible. I would use the iron just to save on the diamond, but right now I'm trying to get this stuff done as quickly as possible. Got some more iron here, which, which must be a, might be a nice thing. So yeah, here we are. Ah, excellent, excellent. Okay, then get all this. Get all it indeed. There we go. And then there's some more over my head still. Uh, I always have a problem digging over my head this deep though, so I'm just gonna get a few of these. I don't really need too much. But then we're gonna go. I feel like we can gra gather our things from the chest and then get on out of here. But I hear skeletons all over the place. So it's like, what do I do, what do I do? Uh, hello, spider. How are you? You and your ever so creepiness. Uh, well, I gotta go down here, right? And maybe he'll chase me down, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's so creepy, I hate this so much. Oh man, and we're safe, we're in the safe zone again. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think it's time to go back home, because we came from this way, or, or maybe not. <laughs> I will ref I refuse to get lost guys. I will find my way back and it won't be that big of an issue once I sort of weed it out It's just that I haven't played in a few days. So I'm just like wait, where did I go from? Where did I come from? Where did I come from? How could I have come here? <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna get this iron because iron's helpful iron We want to make sure to continue grabbing there we go excellent give me all of you <laughs> ah. And now we will head back as soon as I find my way back. Okay, so I think I found the way back. Uh, maybe, maybe not. This is where we dug through before and no, we were spying, okay. Um, I hear a zombie, I hear a zombie, but this is where we came from. Ooh, this is dangerous. This is very dangerous, very dangerous indeed. You get out of here, Mr. Zombie, cause I don't like you, you smell funny. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this up. No need to do some silly dodging techniques just to dodge lava, might as well do it the smart way. And it's like, if we get really, really lost, we can always just do things the easy hard way, I guess you could say. Ooh, wait, there is still more stuff down here. Okay, some lava and a zombie. Hello, zombie. Uh, get you, get you good, get you good. And I hear a whole bunch of nice, not nice stuff. Not nice, indeed. Ooh, yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Ooh, stressful stress, stressful stress. 
because I hear us spiders are always the worst in my opinion they're the worst enemies in the game just because they can climb up and make horribly ear wrecking noises without you actually knowing where they are until they're right on top of you and that's never fun so let's get back up here um, obviously not the way we wanted to go why, why am I getting lost usually I have a better sense of direction than this I think it's just the fact that I haven't played in a few days so this is spooking me out though this is where we fell that's right, because we didn't just, you know, simply walk on down, we fell down. So I feel like our best course of action is to find a dead end. And you'd be like, a dead end, how is that gonna help? Well, ooh, Endermen, men of Ender. I don't like you at all. So let's not, ouch. Uh, let me get some food. But yeah, <laughs> we need to find a dead end so that I can sort of make my way up, and I think that'll help. So let's put another piece of this. But I, I, I try to dig up smartly. I'm not gonna dig straight up, because that's a dumb idea. But what I do is just this, and then we might even find a few materials on our way up. So let's do that, just like this iron. And it's like, if I dig up like I am here, I still have the room to back up. I do believe I want to actually do something a little crazy and do that. Just in case an enemy does appear behind us, we will be able to somewhat block it off in one way or another. There we go. And I just always have to be two or three blocks behind. And that way, I shouldn't run into any major issues. Let's hope. Let's hope. It's time to make our way home, guys. And is it daytime? It's actually becoming nighttime. It's a good thing I had this, but at the same time, I'm, I'm not able to use it right now. Maybe I should have brought a bed. I feel like that's our next step when it comes to our mining adventures, is bring a bed with us. Okay, then, I'm just gonna keep digging up, though. And I'll see you guys when I get up to the top. Creeper. Okay, I've had my way into a cave, and there's a creeper in this lake. This little puddle. Get you. Oh, man, now I'm actually out of torches, though. Like, I'm in a not good scenario. Right at this current moment of time. Get the heck out of here, this stinking block! This stinking block! Oh my gosh, what the heck, game? Really stinking frustrating. Like, I made that jump, and then it wouldn't, like, it refused to agree with me. It's like, no, you didn't make that jump. You didn't do it successfully. No. Um, well, I'm gonna take this torch back, because eh, it's mine. Um, what I'm gonna do is get some solitude up in this piece. We're gonna get some solitude and just relax and then have no worries. I don't need that coal right now, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And then it's just, now it's just a fear that creepers are gonna show up behind me, like they just sort of did, because they're, you know, s s creepers are silent. They're the silent killer, so it's really difficult at times. But this right here, exactly what I wanted. So then, you know, we can start, continue digging up, and hopefully nothing comes at us from the side or something. So, there we go, and I'll try, do I, I have some sticks. And I do, have, of course, have some coal. So it's like, okay, I have, there we go. Five, six sticks? Okay, that works for me. Let's make some torches. Hooray, safety. Or wait, for right now, at least. Let's keep going. Ooh, we found dirt. That's a surefire sign that we're getting higher and closer to the uh, surface now, which is a good thing. We've been trying so hard to get up here, and now it's working out for us, hopefully a little bit. I'm not sure that we still might have a good while to go, but it's a good sign. It's a good sign of success and happiness. Hooray! <laughs> and there we go. Sweet, sweet light. I missed you. I missed you ever so much. And wow. Okay, we're way up here. I know exactly where we are. And wow, our journey is complete. We have gotten one extra diamond. That was totally what we were trying to do, was just get one measly diamond. But hey, it is better than nothing. I can't, you know, a beggar can't be a chooser. We got something out of our adventure. This is where we came down from, I believe. Oh, maybe we hadn't gone down this one. Maybe we should continue our adventure just a little bit more to see what's in this one. Uh, ooh. Immediately very, very dark. And I hear an Enderman. <laughs> oh, man. So here, here's another spot we can adventure down at some point in time. Either way, I would like to deposit our one diamond that we have retrieved back into the chest so that we have that nice and safe. Nobody can take it away from us. And that'd be great. Okay, so let's go. And it's nice to see the light again. Ouch. I really do like Minecraft in the day outside more than in caves. Not to say that the cave adventuring is bad, it's just there's definitely other things on Minecraft I prefer more than others, and this is one of them. <laughs> okay then, so let's, yeah, go through here, and then let's just keep going. And here is our home again. 
Oh, how I missed Zebra's house. <laughs> My house. Okay then, so, I got a whole bunch of stuff that I still need to organize. But in here? No, in here, I have the diamond. So I can put the second diamond down and we could make advances to a diamond sword now. This is totally something we could do. For now, I'll leave it in there and I'll place some other stuff on in there as well. We do have those enchanted books we got earlier in the episode. Still have no idea what they're used for, but maybe now we can, um, maybe we could place those here. Let me get them again. Do, do. And then, is there any room in here? There's a little bit, there's a little bit. I need to probably make another chest, so let me go back over here. And, and then I need to, uh, do, do, do. And I think this is how it works. I can just place these over. Yeah, okay. So I can put these guys in there. Hooray! <laughs> I'm glad we did get these books though because I haven't ran into them and I want to show off as many things as possible in this Let's Play. So let's see, I think that maybe I can use these on the bookshelf. Like, let's try this. No, it doesn't work, okay. Um, what happens if I, can I just read it? Like, hmm. Respiration one, Silk Touch one, and Knock Back two. I know that Silk Touch, like, if you mine like coal ore, you don't get coal from it, you actually get that block. That's what Silk Touch does. For the other ones, I'm not really sure. So uh, it'll be it'll be an adventure finding out, I can tell you guys that much. All right, let's go here, do, 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 do. And then finally, let's, can we sleep? I really want to sort of like take a nap, but hmm, this is really figuring out what to do now. I know that we need to make more torches. So how about we do that really quick? We'll get this and then we'll probably, hmm, where's the coal I collected? Somewhere around here, right? Um, hmm, there it is, a full stack of coal, easy peasy. Let's go and make something cool, or <laughs> they're torches, I guess they're cool, but they're not that cool. Okay then, so maybe we could actually start smelting some ore. Let me get this out, and then, hmm, where'd it go? I think they're up here. Um, I do already have a nine gold ingots, and maybe to try it out, maybe I'll turn that into a gold block, just cause. I already have 60 iron, which is more than I thought I had. Um, where is the ore I just collected? It might not be in here at all, but I thought it was. Maybe not, let's go back in here and check. And yeah, there it is, there's some of our gold ore. We have 14 of that. And then what's in here? Nothing. Um, hmm, where's the iron ore we got? Cause we got a good amount of that as well. Looks right over it. <laughs> there we go, okay then. So now last but not least, we need the coal back to get this full stack. So we're going to, first off, cook some of this. So let's do that. And then we will go in here and make wherever it is. Um, It should be back up here, hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be in here. There you go. <laughs> and make another one so that we can cook the iron and that at the same time. Multitasking! <laughs> And then we also have this. I did want to try something really quick. If I can hunt it down, I need my map. There it is, it's over on here. And then somebody suggested this, and I want to see if it works. Um, okay, never mind. Somebody did say that if you put a map and surround it by paper, you can make a bigger map, but you don't really have that option here. So I guess maybe that's something that's not in console. Oh, look, it's raining. Rainy, rainy day. Let's go go sleep. And then maybe when we wake up, more of our stuff will be cooked. Either way, we have 60 paper. Maybe what we should do now is breed some cows. Um, where's our seeds then? Right, we need, no, we need wheat for cows. So let's hunt that down. There it is. Okay then. So maybe what we should do is breed some cows, make them nice and happy, and then, oh, hey, skeletons walking around in there. I, I, I see you out there burning away. What, wow, these guys are like trying so hard to get out. Oh, because I have the wheat. Duh, I'm like, what are they doing? What are they doing? Calm down. Um, hmm. I might want to be a little creative with how I get out, get in there. Um, I have an idea. We're gonna be sneaky zebra. So sneaky, so sly. We're going to hop up and then hop up. And I still need more. Hold on. Ooh, let's try this. I'm gonna try to get a sneak attack from above. Um. So then, I might need a lot of dirt to actually make this work, so let's try this really quick. And then, parkour back on, oh, nope, nope, I ruined that, I ruined that. Parkour, oh, come on, come on, Zebra, you can do this. Park, oh, what? Haha, -ha, I finally succeeded. All right then, so I'm gonna dig on down, just like this, and this might be a silly idea. Ow, my legs. Um, And these guys are all grown up, so let's make you all nice and happy. As many of you happy as I possibly can. And then you seem to be all happy and mating now, making a bunch of cows, which is great. 
And I used all of my weight there, so you guys better be very happy with that, but I am sort of being a dingus because what I gotta do now is go get my sword back, because I do need some leather to make some more books. All right then, so baby cows, step aside. I'm not aiming for you. <laughs> okay then, so we're just gonna take a few and add a ton, just like three or four. And then what we're actually gonna do is make our way up through there so that they don't dart out like they did before. But there we go, Um, we'll take out one more. There we go. Okay then, I'm sorry baby cows that you had to see that, but it had to be done. Um, Let's get on out of here. And then, where's my wood piece? It is right here. Let's restore it. Restore it indeed. All right, that's all we need to do. <laughs> Making a mess because these cows are so dastardly. But there we go, we got more leather. We should be able to make an okay amount of books with this, so that'll be something we do right now. So let's go in here, and then back in here. Wait, no, close the door, close it. Be gone, door, and then, let's see. Um, ooh, we could make leather armor, but of course we don't need it, so we're not going to. Um, hmm, where are the books again? They should be in decorations. Uh, here they are. So we just need, so this, we'll be able to make six books, which will be helpful. And then we need more wood for this, which we got, so that's no problem. We will be able to make two more bookshelves or bookcases with this then. So that's good. So here we go. And then we do have the diamond to make the enchantment table if we wish to do so. So maybe that's something we'll give a shot in this episode. Um, hmm, where could it be? Uh, where'd it go? Why am I just missing everything? There we go. All right then, so where is the enchantment table? Uh, there it is. Okay, so we do need two diamonds for this. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's go for that. Let's um grab our diamonds. There we are. And then we need obsidian, which I have in here. And then, not in here. It's in here. <laughs> and then we need a book. So I have that. Let's go back in here and then make it, okay, there we go, we have it now. <laughs> Enchanter, we even getting a cool achievement for that, awesome stuff, let us go upstairs so that we can place that guy down, just like this, and then hello, Scruffy. <laughs> so we should just put it right here. Enchantment table, this allows the player to enchant swords, pickaxes, axes, shovels, bows, and armor using the player's experience points. Awesome, so we have 36 levels worth of experience to ex expand and stuff, but we'll be doing that in the next episode. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends and family, and comment in the comment section below what do you think about today's episode and some of the wondrous things we did. Either way, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.